and you're having to round to get your answers, never use a rounded answer and plug it into a problem, okay? Because you're plugging in not the right thing. It's close to the right thing, but it's not the right thing. So and so that means the next answer is going to be farther off from what it should be, all right? So since I just calculated X, I don't want to use X in my next calculation. I want to use what the book gave me in my next calculation. The book gave me this and this, and I'm looking for the angle. Sign. Opposite over hypotenuse sine. Yes. Could you use, you can't use 90 degrees. No. Okay. You don't use the 90. Because I tried and I got like domain error. Or whatever. Because the opposite of a 90 degree angle is the hypotenuse. So you would be doing the hypotenuse over the hypotenuse. Mm -hmm. Which is not the sign. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Oh. You got a question? I'll stretch. Oh, sorry. <laughs> do, we, do we get out at the... 12 or 1. Okay, number 12, Haley. Yes. Okay, did you ask number 12? Who asked number 12? Okay, number 12, let's just focus on this right now. There's no 90 degree angles anywhere. But I could find out what that third angle of the triangle is. And that's what I have to do. And once I do, I find that this is an isosceles triangle, which means that if this leg is 20, what's this one? 20. And since it's isosceles, when I draw the altitude from the vertex angle to the base, I have 90 degree angles, and I cut the base in half. And if you want to go even further, it cuts these two angles in half, so it's 15 and 15. And so then now you focus on this bottom triangle. Now we're asked to find y. Well, y by itself is not part of a right triangle, so I can't use anything just to sh go straight to y. But I can use either the top or the bottom half and find this piece and then multiply it times 2. Okay? So you can either use your 15-degree angle as theta, and then you would say the sine of 15 equals opposite over hypotenuse. Or you can use your 75 degree angle as theta. And then you would say the cosine is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. Any, either way. Now, we've got to multiply that answer by 2, right? Do not round until the very end. Plug in, get your answer. You're going to have a big old decimal. Hit times 2 and then round. Okay? Your rounding should occur at the very end. Yes? I just did sine. Okay. So what do we... So the sine of 15... No, I mean, I just did the original triangle. I just... It worked? Yeah. Okay. Because mm -hmm. you have an, a side and an angle. I think that's what I did. I did sine 75 equals x over 20 to find 1. And then sine 30 equals y over 20 for the other. Okay. Well, but you have to go by this logic because that's why it's working. You're creating right triangles. Okay. Um, you have to do with book tests anyways. Don't go off and find your own. So when we find 20 times the sine of 15, that's only half of y. Once we get that answer, we hit times 2, and then we round to get the answer for y. I don't want to figure that one out. So, so, so is S-O-H. S-O-H. See? It's kind of, is that not? I never bothered me until she said that, and now I'm always having to myself. No, it's At least now I won't. Okay, number 17, you had this. Okay, if you separate your picture, it helps you. All right, you've got a six-meter ladder. With a 60-degree elevation, and then you've got it with a 70-degree elevation. 
okay? Well, obviously, the steeper the ladder, the higher it's going to go up on the building. Okay, the ladder itself, here's your ladder, was 6 meters. The question was, how much higher is it going to go up? Well, how would you go about finding that out? Well, if I find the distance that it's going up the side of this building in this triangle, and then I find the distance that it's going up the side of the building in that triangle, just subtract, okay? Because if this is, say, 100 meters and this is 120 meters, then it's 20 meters higher. So you have your right triangles. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to say sine of 60 is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, which means we bring this 6 over here. Sine of 70 is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, which means we multiply both sides and bring the 6 over there. Find your two answers and subtract. And that's how much higher the other one is. Okay. Okay, now let's do a practice one where you draw your own picture and you answer the question. Okay, I'm going to make up a problem for you. Sorry. Yes. Number eight. We're only looking for V on number eight. Maybe you did the wrong problem. When you're, when you're trying to find something, you don't want to use an answer you came up with in, in order to find another answer. Because what if you're wrong? Okay? So we just had to actually work this out. Pull it from your calculator and do it. Uh, cosine is adjacent. Right, you would use these, thing, these three things, which would be this one. And then your Tell calculator would be second cosine, 11 and Okay, suppose we have this. Okay, we are going to try to 